It's time to change the game in Afghanistan to force the Taliban to react to us instead of us reacting to them. I want you to understand, I picked you specifically to be the company that goes the furthest south in the battalion's AO. I know that you'll be able to overcome any challenge that you'll face. Some days you'll have good days and some days you'll have bad days. But the same question I posed months ago is what should really drive your action. Is what I'm doing gonna move the Afghan people closer to their government or further away? We are attacking to seize control of the population from the Taliban. Because once we've secured the population, they no longer have a sea to swim in. And the insurgents are gonna die on the vine. Every interaction we have with the people is critical to our success. They have to develop trust in us, we have to develop trust in them. But make no mistake, we're experts in the application of violence. When you move, move with a sense of purpose and aggression intent on finishing the enemy. Your conscience should be clear and your honor should be clean. Your measure is not found in how much time you have on this earth, but what you do with the time that you have. 40 or 50 years from now, when you're sitting around with your grandchildren, they're gonna ask you what you did in the summer of decision in Afghanistan. The world will remember what you do here this summer. And believe me, Echo Company is gonna change history starting early tomorrow morning. But you can't see him. I can't see where they're actually. Mark it.
God damn it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the litter? Where's the fucking litter? They're coming. This is the litter. Grab them. We got to go. Come on. Go. Sharky. Where am I carrying him? Grab one. Grab one. Let's go. We're taking him. Watch your back. Keep me informed of what's going on over there, because we're coming around the right, too. Watch the right. Oxy cotton. A lot of Belleville, I don't play here anymore because it doesn't put me to sleep. Trash, trash. Rotten. Yep, I gotta go. Oh, what
look at this. There's not a single parking spot in this gigantic parking spot or any restaurant. Look at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, you can't even park at Chuck E. Cheese. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. So you come home and you're constantly stressed out because of all this crap. It makes me want to lose my freaking mind. It's just like, my God, I would rather be in Afghanistan where it's simple. And then when you come home, it's almost more difficult than doing that stuff to be here dealing with all this shit. Sorry, but I wanted to catch the light and that car was slow. But I have a wonderful woman. Here, give me your sugar. I came all the way over here. <laughs> with a broken hip. Oh. Yeah, look. I'm leaning all the way over here. Look at that. Got a broken hip. There's she, something I, I do. A little more. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Move your mouth a little bit. Make it entertaining. Give me a chip. What do you want? Want my cheek? Mm, I love my cheeks. Can you get that? Can you do that? Yeah. It's probably split up on that. There we go. That's all right. It don't steer good at all. I got right into the door. Better be fast. <laughs> OK, we're going to go inside. It's not very fast. We need to soup it up. How you doing tonight, ma'am? I'm doing good. And how's that good, Well, I'll just show you a little bit of it. It goes all the way down my leg, but I'll show you a little what? bit. What? Would you have next to Oh, my gosh, man. It, go, it goes all the way to my butt crack, all the way down. And I got a metal rod from my knee to my hip. I got shot in Afghanistan about a month ago. Yeah. And it came through my hip, broke my hip up real bad. Took, it, took a piece of the bone out where my femur meets my hip, took that out, then tumbled, flipped through, and my leg's broke right now. It just ain't in a cast because it's got a metal bar from my knee to my hip holding it together, so it's not in a cast. So it don't look bad, but, you know, it's tore up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm here, and I'm home now. Okay, man, well, you have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, where's the... Okay. Can we look? We'll just check. Can you do all three? Is it a copy of the scanner and everything? My mom is going to give us one, but it's an old... This one looks like it does everything in the world. Dude, that is really cool. You can change face select. I don't know what that means, but it sounds really cool. Wow. Look at the zoom on it, Ashley. Dude, check that out. Dude, come on. Give me a little something, woman. Give me a little, look. oh yeah, give me a little. Come on, come on, you're fabulous. Get in the moment. Oh, that's it. You're wonderful. I want you to pinch your your shoulder towards the sky. Just a little bit, that's it. Marvelous. I love the electronics, man. I love this. Ooh, they got that new halo here, too. Think, you think it's worth it? Because I can sit, in, I can sit and, and let my leg do the thing and play it. There it is, Call of Duty 4. We're going to patrol down this road, all right? 
they want to fight this morning, we'll go fight this morning. Pick up. Let's go. I'm going to go. Let me get this side. Let me get this side. Hey, you stay right there. Keep watching that way. <laughs> Most of the men accept the fact that they could die. You really have to accept it in order to do our job. You have to. It's not really like you go out on patrol and you're, you know, you think about that. I could die, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm not even going to think about it or care about it, except to the point of taking care of myself and making sure that it does, I'm not foolish and it happens for no reason. But if I do everything right, and all my men do everything right, I still could die. So you just have to accept it. We'll just write it down so we can read it all. <laughs> Instead of everybody yelling over top of each other. Take all the time you need them, know you're ready. That stresses me out so bad for some reason now. Even with people, really, like people talking over each other is really, it bothers me too. You get really, really aggravated or interrupting. I don't know. I don't know why. It just bothers me real bad. I want to get the hush puppies and seasoned fries and a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I want a BLT with the sweet tea, a corn dog with fries and a small Dr. Pepper. Hey, Will and Ryder! There's spring! Sergeant Spring! With hush puppies and fries. With the water and add a fancy vanilla shake to that. And the last thing, the spicy chicken tray. With fries and chili. With a fancy vanilla shake also.
Now, the people of Afghanistan have endured violence for decades. They've been confronted with occupation by the Soviet Union and then by foreign al-Qaeda fighters who used Afghan land for their own purposes. So tonight, I want the Afghan people to understand. America <laughs> seeks an end to this era of war and suffering. Well, Afghan people aren't we watching no interest in television. Country, and we will seek a partnership and to forge a lasting friendship in which America is your partner Ooh. and never your patron. Oh, yeah. There are those who suggest that oh, yeah. Another Eight hours a day. And what this, on this machine. Eight hours a day. It's just wonderful. We work together with the British troops, right? Why don't we put them in Pakistan and then the Marine Corps pushes them up and then they meet and then they, that way. Well, this goes way above our head, you know, way above my pay grade. A lot of people don't even understand what's going on over there or the whole big picture. Nobody knows. Even the guys over there fighting don't know. I mean, we obviously believe in the cause and why we're there. We obviously believe with it, with all, in it and with all our heart and all want to defend the country until we die. We're, we're America. No matter what, we're going to be successful. It's just how much time it's going to take, money it's going to cost resources, lives, stuff like that. Because it does, it costs, it costs a lot. But our freedom is definitely worth it. And the Afghan people deserve it, you know. They just live in depression and horrible lives. I mean, and that's the thing, that's, that's a part of the culture is that the Taliban don't, doesn't want electricity, they don't want modernization, they don't want any of that stuff because they think it's worldly or ungodlike like us, the infidels, you know. That's how the that's how the Muslim radicals view it. So they want to stay living in mud houses with straw roofs and nothing to do but farm. I mean they don't have beds, they don't have mo the majority, you know, live on dirt. Half their livestock lives in the compound with them, like their chickens and cows. Yeah, this is how these people live. I mean, I can't imagine living like that. They do, and they have like a vill village elder. It's weird. Like, you pretty much have to go talk to that village elder or it's disrespectful. I mean, it's just, it's just unbelievable. A lot, a lot of responsibility. But I like it, you know. I have no problem with it. You know, that mess rocked me. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Roger, stand by for sit rip. Roger, at this time, we're approximately 500 meters north of uh, the intersection with Machine Gun Hill break. We uh, were talking with an individual, uh, that a uh, local national that was in the area. He's very happy we're here. Uh, uh, tell him it's nice to see someone finally. Get to talk to somebody. Okay. Um, uh, is is there is there people left in this area, or when the Taliban started fighting us the other day, did they all leave? Let's go. Khalik is taken. I got. I got. Jango. I got. 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 No, they are, there is no anyone to in this village. Uh, okay. And you think mm. about the Taliban, they are coming just only two persons. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, the big, so the biggest problem they face is when, when, it, when any, uh, hey, tell, tell, tell them to quit yelling. Stop yelling. Go take control of it. Uh, so, so the biggest problem is when, just that, when British or Americans come into the area, we start fighting with the Taliban and everybody has to leave their homes. Huh? That's what he's saying? Yeah, he's saying that we have a problem with these kinds of fighting, patrolling. We cannot go out for a home and just feel. Hey, ask them what, what they're doing. I don't know, he's also going to ask him what, what ask happened. Him. 
Rajab, for Sonko, what you got for us? All right, well, if he's not shooting at us, then just watch him. I, I don't know what they're shooting at. Hey, get on the radio, Walsh. Tell them the a a fired a warning shot at somebody to the west. How's your family doing? Mm. Uh, it has a family thing. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. Mm. Uh, you have any medical needs? So, the way the Pacari, the Sok Maris, the Zahmis, the Shepard, the Murmashkal Dara, the music of Turi Pacati, the Murda Mash Pokuru, the Damskel, the Tractor Pokurka, the Walar, the Munapoyo, who was Tais of Baladara, come card in the Kadu. Yeah, tell him we'll hold a Shura, yeah. and we'll be able to talk with it, with the uh, with the people at Ashura, yeah. and and we're gonna work on that. We want we don't want to take the people's homes away. They're just real heavy fighting since we came in on the helicopters the other day. Everyone ran and left. The Taliban is just fighting us pretty good. Inshallah, uh, Ask him if he would like some uh, some pain mess and tell him it's not drug, not narcotic. It just it just kind of helps. I didn't say what, Keep what, control what? of it. You got it. Some aspirin yeah. type medicine. It's it's uh it's real medicine, but it's not something that's gonna knock him out or anything. It'll take all that swelling. Let's talk a little bit about meds. Um, like we had talked in the war, every day you're healing more, you're getting better. I don't want to see you on long-term opioids, narcotics, right. you know, forever. Yes, You're sir. too young. Yeah. Yeah. I too, see it messes people up, too. It does, absolutely. Too many side effects, too many issues. Yeah. You know, as you heal, you know, you're going to get stronger, you're going to get better, and we need to start weaning some of these down. You know, I don't want to compromise your quality of life. I don't want to make you miserable, you know, but ultimately, I would love to see you off of these meds. You have to. You need to be off of them tomorrow. No, that's not realistic. It's not going to happen. But I just think, and I, I want to plant the seed in the back of your head that long term, we'll yeah, we need to get there. And yeah. you will get there as you get stronger, things heal. Three times a day, or something. But the other thing is that, along with narcotics and opioid therapy, there um, comes dependence, yeah. tolerance, addiction, and withdrawal. So, and I'm sure you. No, that it's not that it's not that this dose or you can't keep the meds, you're yeah. gonna go through withdrawal. Okay. It's like somebody on the street, you know, because your body has de developed a tolerance and a dependence on these medications. So we wanna we wanna get you fixed, get you cleaned up, so you keep your quality of life and keep it control. Okay. Okay, push. One, two, three, four, five. That one hurt, didn't it? Yeah, it did. You let me take it a little bit farther, though. Yeah. Muscles in my knee and the front of my knee got too tight that time. Are you up for any more? What did you call it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. A lot of people have gotten shot in the hip and probably close to the same manner, but everybody's body reacts a little different and heals a little different. I just fortunately have already had my battles and peace on previous deployments, and I was ready for it this time. Knew what I was going to deal with, knew what it was going to be like when I got home. It's not, I don't really have any issues with it. Okay. Okay. Uh, not bad. Uh, yeah, I think we're getting there now. Yeah. Didn't take too long to warm up. Uh-uh. I don't know if I'll be, if I'll have some kind of chronic pain the rest of my life. It's just a, it's just a whole lot of, of wait and see, and it's a whole lot of how my body heals. The thing is, is I, I don't know, and the doctors don't know what the end state is going to be. Obviously, what we're working towards, and this is the doctor's words as well. You know, he asked me what. You know, what was I looking at? What did I want to do? And he said, do you want to stay in? I said, yes, absolutely. I'm definitely not going to get out. You know, that's the first thing. 
I know I can still contribute to the Marine Corps, and uh, I might be going back to the grunts, which is what I want. Except no matter what, I'm going to have some kind of limp the rest of my life. Okay? Yeah. Well, I still think you'll have a good recovery eventually. Yeah. You will. Okay. Well, I'll try and do all that again this afternoon. Okay. Well, I've enjoyed working with you. Okay. Mm. Hey! Yeah? I need medicine. God, I'm never, ever, ever doing that again. Ever. Dude, that shit made me sick. I guess just the pain over and over and over and over made me sick. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, did they did they want to go back to their houses to grab things first and then later on they want to meet up with our uh, commander okay. and talk to him? My worry about letting these guys in is that they get to see where all of our Marines are and then go back and tell them, but it's, I guess it's a risk we have to take. I think it'll be all right. I think they're just gonna check their livestock and stuff like that, so. We did have to shoot a couple of freaking goats today, though, because they attacked some of the Marines. So, some of them will probably see that. Oh, well. Did you have that? You can come in? Yes, you can come in. Yeah, we put them there um, yeah. for safety, for yeah. ourselves. To, uh, to protect from the, uh, us from the field when uh, we've been getting shot at from uh, a long way away and uh, we're protecting ourselves, that's why. I said that the other party is the whole of the party. Well, what is the Pazata party? She told you once as Moja Vla, Padara Muruj, you did it. Do on the Yom Mutma Laki, Steli, the Altami Pinzamana, the Bolas and non Karskal, Urimikra, Altami Kushan, Taxes, which was it is that Salur was in us. Don was to go. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pay you back for what we broke, but right now there's nothing I can do. I can't I can't go back to this morning and fix everything, okay? Because it's already happened, and I feel bad I feel bad about it. All right, and I apologize, but there's nothing we can do to reverse that except try and help you for the future. Hey, will you find out if the CEO's coming up here or not? Roger. Let him know that the guy who owns this house that we're living in is here right now. Yes, sir. We'll we'll pay for it. I told them that, that when everything is broken, they will give a call, they will fail on all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him to keep his arms up. What? All the way up. What? All the way up. What? Up his fucking crotch? Yeah, you gotta check everything. Stay out of town for a couple of days, okay? Alright. Tell these guys too. Just tell them we want to be safe before they come back. Ooh, let me get behind here. Oh, shoot. Hey, Fire power down! Hey, I'm moving, don't shoot me! Huh? Hey, are you guys able to uh, 
about return fire. Are you seeing where it's coming from? <clears throat> Heavy guns are shooting on the peninsula to the north on the east side of the canal. Fuck are you shooting? They're fucking oh, shooting way down there. The fucking road turns. I can't even fucking see that. Hey! No. Tell the A and A to stay down! I hear airplanes coming to drop a bomb! Right across the way! Stay here and watch this. Turn on! Oh, Ten man. seconds! Oh no, watch out! Bomb away! Hey, watch out! Shit ever. Holy fuck. That was the power of God right there. Is that what they're in for? Yeah, that's it. I thought they dropped mine out. I thought they'd put it a little more to the right, but that'll work. Oh, I just love my pistol. He's so bad. Do you know what? I just want to hold it. Hold it and caress it. I'm not pointing it at anybody. Okay. Demonstration. All right. So we drop the mag. Put the mag in. Grab it, yank it, and it's ready to fire. That's all you need to ever know. Now, to aim it. See these three dots? You're gonna line them up, okay? Hold it. Oh, hold it right. I, might, I might need to tilt it. You hold, you hold, you'll have to hold it right. Look, hold it just like this. Put one finger straight and off the trigger, and have a nice good grip on it. Your thumb goes right there. Or wherever it's comfortable. Mine's more comfortable right there because I don't have giant hands. And your finger goes like that. And you just hold it there, honey. And aim. Just like that trap. What if you had to shoot it at somebody? Good. Yeah, you need to know how. You gotta put it all the way out? Oh, no, you can have a little bent. Look, just I'll whatever's comfortable. Yeah. Alright, I got it. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. When you pull the trigger, you just want to do a firm, firm squeeze. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now you should know how to operate this weapon perfectly. I do. If you ever had to shoot somebody with it, you could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just remember, North Carolina is a castle wall state. Somebody breaks in, and you are threatened. You feel threatened. You can shoot them, as long as they're not running away. You can't shoot them in the back. That's the law. You can even shoot them through the door. Bam. Steady trigger squeeze. You're dead. What the hell? This is fucking awesome. Man. I'm getting in in a second, man. Get in. Oh, that felt good. Shalom alaikum. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I, I'm the captain with the uh, American forces that's come to help the, uh, the uh, Afghan and the Garmshire government. And I'm very sorry over the last few days that there's been some fighting and some damage to your villages. I know your families are concerned about safety. I, I know this. So we're going to help you uh, provide it. But we're going to have to work together. Yes, I know this. Well, I know that this is going to be a long process for us to uh, work together to help, help provide security and help take care of your villages. But we're prepared to stay for, for a, long, a long period of time. I don't understand what you're asking. So he wants us to leave this area? Well, 
we're going to be in, in the area, not necessarily in these houses or in this village, but we're going to be in this area for quite, for quite some time. I want your people to be able to come back. I do, very quickly. They, they can come back, but we are going to be here also. Hey, call them and see what that was. Hey, please listen. Some of the some of the uh, the bombs that we have found in some of the villages, we're putting them together and blowing them up. Yes. Uh, so I'm sorry that frightened you. Yes, I know these things. You, the people that live in the villages around here, are, are trapped in the, in, the, in the middle. I understand. The people that have been here forcing their hand on you and oppressing you and hurting you, that's why we are here to get them away from you so that they don't do that to you anymore. Over a period of time, I hope that our relationship with me and you, our relationship can become stronger because what I want is what is what you think is best for you. Not what I think is best for you, but what you think is best for you. After you move back into your homes, we will not enter your house without your permission unless we are being attacked from that house. You have to help me with that to keep the Taliban out of these areas so that we don't have the, the, the fights. And I hope, I hope that over time that you will accept me as one of your village leaders. And what I want you to understand, I share the same hardship that you do. We are in the same position. We are in the same boat floating the river. And where it takes you, it, it also takes me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, see, this is a completely different class and neighborhood than that other one. And the houses are, too. Yeah, we need to tell them that we really, really, really love the house and really want to rent it for my situation, and I got to get into a house. Look at your closet, dude. Mm -hmm. That's a big old closet. Wow. That's like the closet in our old in our other house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a perfect uh, computer room right here. Hey, Tamim. Hey, come here real quick. Echo main, echo main, stay. That's not that old. It's regime, man. Hey, pull back. Pull, pull back. back. Let's, Let's go back. Hey, give me security on the door before we pull back. Here, go, go. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. 
You okay? Yeah, I just got something shooting up my leg. Hey man, look. See how my butt's kind of gone, dude? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of where it started uh -huh. when it goes down my leg. And now you said this was a firefight? What now? I mean, we had been fighting. That for, looks painful, man. Yeah, <laughs> we had been fighting for months and months, uh -huh. but it just at the very end, I made it all the way to the very end, dude. Mm -hmm. But that was going to be, I had one more, I had about one more mission the very next day. And I would have been done, man. I'd have been safe. All the way up. There. Are you alright? I'm doing pretty bad to be honest. I can tell. Alright. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. You gonna throw up? I might. Okay. Gotta put this one on. Just need a minute. Are you okay? You ready? Dude, I'm Come like on. out of it. You just wanna sit here? Mm -mm. They're shooting from there and directly down the road. Roger, that is deep. They need to drop two zero zero. When I was 18 years old, all I wanted to do was kill people. You know, and they used to ask me when I came in the Marine Corps, what, what, you know, why did you come in the Marine Corps? You know, why did you come in the Marine Corps Infantry? And I always told them because I want to kill people. And they always said, you know, that's the best answer I've ever heard. That's all they want. That's, you know, that's all they ever wanted. And, you know, I thought for a long time that was, that was you know, that was cool. That's really what I wanted. And, I, you know, that's really the way I felt. You know, my first two deployments, I, I was kind of one of them guys that didn't really have any fear whatsoever. You know, I was ready to go do it. I wanted to go fight. I wanted to go kill the enemy and and be, you know, a roughneck and, and cuss and spit tobacco and come home and do it again. And I did that. You know, I was just a young cowboy. And then, and then this last time, you know, I had more concern about it, you know, like, you know, I'm all for it. Let's go do it. But, you know, I've already done it. I've already done it and it's not everything you think it's going to be, and it's hard, and it's tough, and it changes people, and here I am going to do it again. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Oh, God, you're fighting me. I'm not. I'm leaning on the desk, sitting here being still. There we go. But I've got to do it. I've got to fight to get home to my wife. And to my family, and also for for my men, and for our country. So, you know, still ready to go do it, but but I've got you know a 26 year old head on me this time instead of an 18 year old head on me. You know, I just kind of I just kind of grew up. This slide right over. Just push it down the hole. Like that. <laughs> Oh, the crew. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? Good. Staff Sergeant. Good to see you, stud. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. around again. Great. Oh, yeah. I got dressed somehow. I know. You did. Look at that. Hey, look at that. My wife did it. That's a clip. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good You like to drink? Or are you all doped up so much? Oxycontin, morphine. Everything. It helps a lot, but it keeps me loopy. What well, they got on a big cast now? Or no, no, it, it's a it's a metal titanium rod that goes. They went since my hips broken. The hips broken. It took the bone out where it meets, where it meets uh, 
it meets my hip. So like the bullet first hit, like ripped my, ripped my butt off <laughs> and it went through, it's not funny. <laughs> and then it like went through my hip right here, broke my hip on the edge. So this is really messed up right here. Uh, that's nasty. And then it and then it hit there and took that out and tumbled somehow and came straight through my leg and came out right here. Oh, it so it snapped leg. my snapped my leg into uh, it. Dude, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. When we'll have time maybe later, I'll tell the whole story. So let's go ahead and get on in here. Thank you. Well, thank you. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Chaplain Terry Roberts. I'm the battalion chaplain. Today, we are here to celebrate and honor the lives of our fallen heroes. We may be asking ourselves, why did this happen? Why did some return safely, why others did not? Excuse me. We may be looking for answers to the unexplainable. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. Sometimes there just isn't the right word to say. Some of us lost a fellow Marine, a brother in arms. Some of us have lost a friend, a cousin, a nephew, or an uncle. Some of us have lost a husband, a father, a brother, a grandson, or a son. We all share in this great loss in different ways. We cannot undo what is done. But how do we move on from here? But move on, we must. In Afghanistan, In Afghanistan, I carried with us. Excuse me. In Afghanistan, I carried with me a bet. A Betsy Ross style colonial flag. This flag bore a circle of 13 stars and 13 stripes. Now, when I look at a flag with the 13 stripes, I will always think of our 13 fallen heroes as they now stand together forever, all eternity in an unbroken circle. Always forever flying together as old glory paints the breeze. Thank you.
and that's when, uh, once that happened, everything started on the, uh, on the west side as well. It looks like it was a sort of, uh, coordinated effort trying to draw us to the, uh, east, and then, uh, they opened up from the west. How copy? Roger, solid copy, uh... No, no, but the, uh, Tenor, Tenor Rocky was saying that they took some fire from Building 8-7, fucking, I just want to check what it was. Stop, get up. 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 Hey, Trey, start making your way to that fucking compound wall. What direction did the uh, did the guys that we shot? Which way did they run? They're really on their way. They run away. How they run if they were shot in the knee? We shot three people here today. Yeah. Where did they go? I'm going to ask this question one more time. One more time. And if you do not answer this question, there is going to be big fucking problems. You understand me? Who? was digging. I'm tired and I just want to leave you alone, okay? I just want to leave you with your family alone, but I cannot do that until I find that these men that we just shot. Do you think we're fucking stupid? The next time you talk, you're going to regret it. I think you forget who you deal with. I think you forget that you fucking deal with. I don't want to get involved with you guys. I don't want to get involved with Tommy. I just want to live my simple life. I don't want to get involved with you guys. We want to help you. All right? Look at me. Huh? I I'm telling you, from the bottom of my heart, we are here to help Afghanistan. And you. If you are here to help us, so what are you doing to... Your children's lives are too valuable to lose to these people with no souls. So why don't you help us? I'll be glad that one day this stuff is going to be over. That's for sure. You know, I'm thankful for where I did get shot and that I only have all the injuries I have and didn't get shot in the chest or a vital, you know, a, a, a place that you die from. So I don't want to just whine too much, but it's definitely a mess. And I'll be glad when it's over. Feel this here? Yeah. This is the extra bone I warned you that was gonna happen, yeah. okay? Um, how much or how little, impossible to say. It's gonna be a couple months before it really matures enough to say how much it's gonna happen, but we're gonna have some for sure. Yeah, I've been looking at it in the mirror. The incision's getting pretty good. Are you sore back here in your butt anymore? Good. No, sir. In time, if you're, as your knee motion starts to come around, this may really bug you. I may have to that's cut where, it out. That's where it hurts. It burns for a long time to the touch. Mm -hmm. I could barely touch it, and it would shoot pain. Like when I first left last time, it shoot pain down through my body, and then I just kept working it and rubbing it, and it like hit itself down inside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got that that oh. dynamic brace that bends you? Yes, yes sir. We bring it everywhere oh, we go. Everywhere. Constantly. That's bad. Ah, oh, God Almighty. 
<clears throat> so when are we looking at coming back? Remember, you're not going to be yourself again. You're not. I'm not going to be able to basically say you're a devil dog again for about a year. Yeah. Was it's going to be six months before you really feel like this is your leg again. Mm -hmm. A year before you're really, you know, wanting to strap on an M4 and go back to killing people. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. We'll get you. I understand. Okay. We'll yes, sir. A few minutes. Okay. No worries. He said you're doing great. You're doing great. Feel better? Big relief, huh? Okay. Every year. I know you know that the whole time. You gotta remember that you are blessed that it's a year. You have your thing. Uh -oh. Using the cane? Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll find your way there, Ron. I'm sure. Hey, look at that guy. I'm sure I'll get my balance back. I about fell twice, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get my balance back as I work with it. All right, let's go. Let's go, Ramirez. Get the fuck up here. I'm not the goddamn point man. Let's go. Get up here and get security on this building. So ask him, uh, does he know an individual that's been running around the area carrying a lot of stuff? Tell him what, we're sorry about the trouble we caused you. We just needed to check real quick as we're going through because we know there's bad guys in the area. Tell him again, I say, I'm, I'm sorry. Tell him we must go. Thank you. Sorry about the trouble. Uh, Keep pushing. Get up here. Push Bucket. up, Dotson. Let's fucking go. You cannot leave two Marines moving by themselves. Where's Trans team? Come here, motherfucker. Get your team up here. Roger. Yeah, they took off out of that building. They took off out of this building. That's the building they took off out of. We're running that way. That tree line. Running northwest. Yep. Yeah, all right, let's go. All right, let's go. Keep pushing. Tie in with the rest of the squad. Keep pushing north. Come on, guys. We got to get out of here. All right, look. We got reported, Brito, that they dropped off, that a guy in bulky shit dropped off all the fucking, uh, uh, a bag full of shit and had shit all stuffed in his clothes. He disappeared and came back and didn't have shit. Then two guys took off running to the northwest. Then how did he get on this side? He was on the west side of No! Dotson, I need you to go up there and check the fucking bag, get the turp, talk to these guys, and find out what the fuck is going on. God damn it. Do you think I'm lying about it when I tell you I'm getting sick? No. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I'm so tired of arguing through that stupid shit. I don't know. But you insist. You better leave me alone. I was not mean to you. A little bit. Okay. All I said was I didn't want you telling the doctor that we need to switch it to something else. I didn't want you messing me up and not letting me get my medicine. Which I know you won't do, but you even told that other doctor. I mean, I know you're just jumping, you know, I know you're just conversating and talking. Tell Which, what doctor what? To Dr. Gaines about me switching medicine to something After else. You said that I even told the other doctor something. You told Dr. Gaines that. Oh, I didn't want you to tell the pain doctor that and make them mess me all up. Tell the pain doctor what? What did I to tell him? To switch my medicine. You didn't tell him. I didn't tell anybody to switch your medicine. I didn't say a word to Dr. Gaines. Mm -hmm. What are you 
you talking about? No, you fucking fought off the handle. No, I, I told you that, and you just, once again, you don't listen uh, to a no, damn thing no, I ever no, say. No, no, no. I heard you, and I listened to you. Uh, good thing, then I rode a damn car five hours. The doctor reiterated the fact today that I'm not ever going to be able to walk or run no more again. He told Miss Marshall that you were supposed to be off your cane today, by the way. Okay, never fucking mind. Never mind. Lord, grant me the strength not to shoot myself. Get this machine gun set up somewhere. Ramirez, talk to me. Oh. We got to get over there. All right, well, hey, I'm going to push across, and we're going to check out what's going on. And then I need you to—I need you guys to suppress for us to get the machine gun up. Hey, it's directly at what's that wall team? from the south, on the west side of the canal, straight down. Now, five man. Standing near a wall that looks to be left side of the Well, there's a ditch right here. Right? Sure, you saw the fucking yes, backdrop. Yeah, I saw a guy fucking over here with something on his back. He dropped the back. Yes. Tell her to fucking mind, Joe. We won't have no problem. Mind, woman. He's gonna shoot you. He's gonna shoot me. Put me on my cock right now. Came over here, stopped behind the tree. You can't see him. Okay. And then came back. You tell me to shut up one more goddamn time, Mitzi. I fucking had it. You fucking hear me? Tell me one more fucking time. Watch what. What was it? Hold your position and push right. We found a problem. I heard something, bang. What was that? Yo, that's coming from the southeast. Hey, Trent, is that uh, is that mortars coming down or what is that? Hey, talk to him and tell him the route is not clear. Roger, Kaboom, you need to hold, you need to hold your position. We haven't swept that road. They're shooting from the left side of that wall. I see them. You gotta get the machine gun there. Right. Hey, Ramirez, Go. pick up. The Hit. What's that? Eleanor's all fucked in the side of the face. Yeah. Where? Right here. 
He gets so mad, like it, it, it just, he turns into a different person almost. It's like, I don't even see my husband. He, it was almost like somebody had taken over him. Like I could look in his eyes and it wouldn't even be him. They were like just soulless almost. I don't know that that makes any sense, but I don't, he doesn't really become anybody but just rage. It's just rage. How long has he been home? Did you say a month or so? He got shot October 23rd. And uh, is he completed his service? You gotta go back later when he heals? Actually, he was worried that they were gonna kick him out, but they actually made a law now. If you get injured in combat, they can't kick you out. Well, so he's, he's good not and done. bad. <laughs> it's well, good, for, good for him, maybe bad for me. That's <laughs> right, that's a soldier. Yeah, that's a, a real soldier. soldier. Well, and well, we really do appreciate okay. that. Okay, anything else we can do for that's you tonight? It, Thank you so much. All right, and I'm sorry you had to wait. I don't know, I don't know what keeps us together. I don't know. Something. We love each other. I guess if you can get through that, you can get through anything. We've been to hell and back.
Vane one. I knew how bad my injury was. I know about how bad it is and how hard it is for me to walk. And for months I've tried, I've walked without a cane a couple of feet and, f and fallen and gotten back up and tried it again and fallen and gotten back up. And I'm only gonna be able to get to, to so good. It's not like I could ever go back to Machine Gun Hill and be able to move around and jump around and fly around and, and move like that. You know, that's just not gonna happen. It's not, there's no way in hell that I could go out there and do that again. That, that's over. Being a grunt's over. That's the only thing I, I really wanna be. You think something's funny, young lady? You want a little kiss? No. Little, 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 little kiss. I'm gonna put my hat on though. You didn't? I didn't have a hat on. My hair's all fucked up. That's a good MySpace picture right there. You wanna play a game? Huh? See what it shoot us? Hell yeah, wood on that one. That would not have been good. Let's let's try again. Who wants to play for real? Not me. Hey man, there's a guy in Boomer. There's a play of spin to death. There's a guy in Boomer that's like actually done. Woo! Oh man, right in the kisser. It was one right, you know? Yep. One more time. This one's for Ashley. Oh! Got you, ass. Got you, bitch. <laughs> I did, Joe. Look. It's right there. When we lay down in the bed at night, I put one in the chamber like that, and I put it on the right side of my body, tucked in between the mattress with the pistol grip hanging out. I put it in the perfect spot. Well, all I had to do was this. Run my hand along the edge till I feel it, and I pull it out, and all I gotta do is flip it off safe, and I'm ready. Done. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. Okay. Get in the position. Mm. This is the starting position we start in. Mm. And later on I get aggravated and start flipping the fuck out. Push you off of me into the, into the wall. That comes later. I love you. You ready to say our prayers? <laughs> now I'm laying you down to sleep. I pray the Lord I stole the key. If I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. I am thankful I'm alive. And that you're here with me. Almost died. You know that? Uh -huh. I almost died. I know. I bled. Fucked up. 
And meanwhile, the Browns were still zipping by real, real close. I was so worried I was going to get shot again. I was just going to try to move, you know, move to a better spot and get down. Where's that coming from? looked to the sky, looked at the sky, and wondered whether I was going to live or not. I just remember looking at the clouds, thinking, breathe, you got to breathe, and keep it slow, don't start freaking out. I just landed there looking at the sky. I just told myself, I was like, well, you're, you're going home. Don't worry about it, you're going home. Keep breathing, breathe slow. Breathe. Shot in the hip and left for dead In come the iron birds from overhead I overheard that Sharp is dead as night Looks like rain even when there's sun Maybe it's just the blood from the wound That fills my face and stains my hands Is it mine? When we were handsome and brave Staying up all through the night Back to back in a bed of dirt we did lay To be young and in love But only make it halfway home That's what it's like when you've been to hell and back it's what it's like if you live through hell and back. Handing out lies and taking names, looking at volunteers for pretty grace. I haven't seen a lemonade stand for years or days Two by two in the tire tracks Walking alone in deserted packs Praying there's no dirty blast today When we were handsome and brave Staying up all through the night Back to back 
in a bed of dirt we did lay to be young and in love but only make it halfway home that's what it's like when you've been to hell and back it's what it's like if you live through hell and back 